The IMG Academies on the west coast of Florida is the world's largest multi-sport training and education complex. The vision started when the company took over the famed Bolletieri Tennis Academy that produced a host of Grand Slam champions. Since then, the complex has grown to a massive 400 acres and receives 20,000 visitors a year to train in basketball, baseball, soccer, American football and lacrosse. And there's also a state-of-the-art golf training facility, the IMG Ledbetter Golf Academy, that was founded back in 1994. Traditionally, you, you get golf lessons, you see your golf pro, you go away for a month, you work on it, you go back and see them. You know, we wanted to have somewhere where we could actually train the kids and not only train them, but have everything that they needed on site. The workout, the nutrition, the education, so they could actually come here and do everything they needed to do in one spot and see their coach every single day. The Ledbetter Academy offers a range of different camps, clinics and events year-round to help golfers maximise their potential. And at the top end of the talent pool, the list of past students is pretty impressive. 17 girls now play in LPGA golf that, uh, that graduated here. You know, Yanni Singh was here for a while, Paula Crema, Michelle Wee obviously is a, is a famous one. Sean O'Hare was here and he was our main PGA Tour player. Casey Wittenberg, um, Peter Uline, who won the USM uh, last year. Churning out professional golfers is not the primary goal of the academy. Rather, it is about getting ready for the step before turning pro that most elite players will undertake, competing for a leading NCAA university. You know, obviously when kids come in here, what is the goal? To be the best golfer they could possibly be. And their main goal is to get into a college, you know, certainly for overseas players. Getting a good education on the way while you can still be growing in your sport and co competitive. And this is perfect preparation. 17-year-old Ginger Howard is one of the success stories of the Ledbetter Academy. Last year, she finished runner-up in the USGA Junior Girls Championship. And Ginger also became the first African-American to play in the Junior Ryder Cup. Normal day in life is um, 7.30 to 12.30. Uh, I do school at home and then I come here for lunch and then uh, golf usually starts from 2 to 5 here or the like the range or a course and after that it's 5.30 to 6.30 which is IPI and that's workout and and then usually like there we, just, we do like running, weights, uh, stretches. The golf swing is one of the most violent movements in sports. So for us to prepare the body is something that's a no-brainer. What I tell the kids all the time and I tell all of my golf athletes is that we get our mental toughness through our physical challenges. People like Tiger Woods and, and that have been notably working out and training for years, they always talk about how mentally tough they are. But he's physically tough as well and he gets a lot of his mental toughness through a lot of those physical challenges. I try to show my kids that that's one of the ways that can help you be successful in golf as well. It was such an honor, like, coming here and a great privilege. I mean, you definitely want to take advantage of the time you're here. Last year, the Ledbetter Golf Academy expanded its program further to ensure its junior golfers are getting the experience they need to play in top-level junior tournaments. They established the IMG Ledbetter Junior Golf Tour. So it runs from September to May, approximately. Every tournament field will, you know, consists of somewhere between 70, 75 players, ages uh, 11, 18, abilities of all levels. Um, it's not limited to the academy kids. Sure, we like to provide the experience for them, but it's it's open to all juniors. We're trying to expand the game of junior golf outside of IMG and outside of these walls. The high level of fitness of many top players means that most are now regarded as athletes. The IMG Academy is following their lead and has all the resources to ensure their students maximize their potential in every aspect of the game.